What's going on everybody? It's your boy Wave Tech from Wave Tech Beats. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel. Uh, just want to do a little quick, simple uh, tutorial uh, that you know it makes it helpful for me to uh, arrange my tracks. A lot of people uh, use different DAWs and um, uh, different pieces of hardware along with different pieces of software to arrange their tracks and uh, I mean I do too but uh, right now I'm using the MPC studio I'm getting ready to upgrade to uh, 2.0 which will probably take me to 2.6 I'm a little slow uh, kind of love with the 1.9 because uh, the workflow is kind of simple for me to uh, get around and get through and things like that uh, I've been checking out a few videos from uh, Drum Machine Addicts, uh, trying to get acclimated with 2.0 before I upgrade, which probably be sometime this week. And uh, uh, you know, just just wanted to basically. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but uh, the workflow in MPC Studio Renaissance Live. And uh, most of the MPC uh, softwares, to me, is very simple. Uh, there's a lot of things that I've learned over the last couple of weeks that has helped me with my production. And uh, just one simple thing is, is when I'm going to put a song together, I go into song mode and then I go into... Uh, track track mute mode I like to mute my tracks so I'm going to show you how I mute them on the hardware versus doing it on the software so stay tuned be ready I'm going to show you real quick and we'll go from there we back and hit this from the side view as you can see all of my tracks pads are red uh, now, if you was to look at the screen, they're red except for one that's yellow, and I just hit that and made it made it red just as well. But what I want to do is, and like like right now, let me move this over so you can see. See, yeah, here we go. Uh, if I press play, you don't hear nothing. So play to start, you don't hear a thing. All right, and so you can see the screen. I'm gonna be somewhere in between here. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. Now, remember I hit play, and there was nothing there. Now, all my keys are yellow. So, that means my tracks are not muted. Red means muted, yellow means they're not. So, if I take and hit play now, Basically, what you heard was you heard the track. Uh, it's working pro a progress, it, but what I've done is, is it makes it simpler for me because I have all of my tracks, on, on, all of my instruments, beats, drum sounds, uh, plugins. I have them all on separate tracks. So right now, we have 14 tracks. So basically, when I go in here, here's what I do. I just start. And I'm gonna start with the pluck sound. It's a dirty pluck. Then if I wanna add, um, let's see, I think I add the uh, 808 real quick. We'll go 808. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's my kick. And I add the kick with the boom. Slow in. And all I'm basically doing is just, you know, picking out how I want to arrange it. So I go from intro, uh, maybe a break, bridge, verse, and then, you know, you, you just add sounds as you go. And you, you, you're picking, you're, you're, you're using your ear. So uh, let's add that snare. add the brass 
And no, believe me, this is how I go through. I'll arrange everything. Then I'll turn around and come back through, put it in song mode. And before I send the wave file to anybody or send out an MP3, everything has to be mixed down. So, you know, I, basically what I'm just showing, I'm showing you how I do mine. And so you just, I, you know, that's the plug in. Oh, plug it in the tambourine, I'm sorry. So that's how I do it, okay? I mean, everybody's different, but this is just my way. It makes my workflow easier. It makes everything that I do a whole lot simpler. Uh, and that's basically it. Like, once again, man, <clears throat> shout out to Drum Machine Addicts, though, for real. They have been so influential on uh, my production as far as me getting to understand um, the MPC software, MPC hardware. Shout out to Hellfire Beats. Watching Hellfire has taught me the difference in playing a sample and chopping a sample and playing a sample. So shout out to those cats. Uh, shout out to Busy Work Beats. He's got me on the progression level of um, understanding sounds and understanding uh, chord progressions. So shout out to those cats. And listen, I don't know everything. I've been in this for a while though. But everything with me has always been, you know, drag and drop, play in FL Studio, uh, little personas, little Pro Tools, things like that. So basically, um, I've, I've started to evolve. But um, man, be on the lookout at the websites being finished up. Um, shout out to Crease Beats, Grita House, Grita House Music. I think I said that right. If I didn't, man, please forgive me. Uh, shout out to my cats, uh, my day ones. Avalanche Records, uh, Big Bulldog and his family, they making big moves in the city. Um, and shout out to, man, shout out to all artists. Don't make no difference what art you're doing. If it's beat making, producing, because there is a difference. We're going we're gonna to do a video on that. There is a difference. Uh, beat making, producing, and also, um, uh, singing, rapping, and dancing. It, it, it's a different generation, but that's hip hop, all right? That's music. You can change the artists, you can change some of the sounds. You have to evolve like I had to evolve. But I've been in this game over 20 years, and um, well, a little bit under 20, I'm sorry. A little bit under 20 years. Shout out to that Classy Thug album, Spliff. And, um, Times change, things change. If you're a beat maker or a producer, you need to learn how to change with the times. So, without no further ado, do me a favor. I didn't say it in the beginning, but I'm gonna say it right now. Like the channel, subscribe to the channel, click that bell to get those notifications to let you know when something else is about to pop off. You feel me? All right, once again, this is Wave Tech Beats. This is Wave Tech. Wave Tech Beats, but I'm signing off. You may have a good day.